Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. What in the world is going on? Well, we have obviously stepped off in a realm that we are not comfortable in, but what the heck? You know, you can't make omelet. Um, gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet. Sometimes you gotta break a lot of eggs. Sometimes the omelet isn't any good. Um, but since I did have an after school job at the Waffle House back in the 80s, that's right, I said the 80s. I might be able to make an omelet. So anyway, what do we have here? We have a harness. This is not the harness from the silver car. This is a spare junkyard harness that we are much to, to the chagrin of some people are eliminating all the things that we don't need to run the car, technically speaking. It's not just about getting rid of the wires from the harness itself, which let's be honest, has been quite a few. It's about making it's about making this harness a poor man standalone. Basically, we we want to lose you know some more weight in the car. We got to try and keep these this clutch alive. Um, and speaking of clutches, check this out. Appeared like when the force when Luke needed the force, he saw the ghost Yoda. And the ghost Darth Vader, this is it. It just appeared out of nowhere. I'm not even joking about that. Professional grade. <laughs> Yay! All right, we got our polishing tool and we're gonna call that good. It's better than when we started. Cleaned up with some brake clean. And it was free. Best part. There we go. Funny story. Funny story. I was thinking about, hey, I need to get a hold of Bruce, blah, 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 get a hold of Yoda, you know, and see if he'll come out. Just so I set the stuff up on the lathe. I never ran the lathe or anything like that. I don't want to do the wrong thing or whatever. Um, and I took the flywheel to work with me. And lo and behold, hadn't even talked to Bruce, hadn't called him or anything. He just shows up out of the plant, stopped by, see what's going on. And I'm like, you must have, it was meant to be. So he stopped by and, uh, you know, showed me how to just chuck it up in there, just what levers and buttons to push. And uh, we got our flywheel, a flywheel, a neck, we have a, that's an aluminum flywheel, so that we had. Um, and we'll just, so now we got that done and then the other one will surface it up too. Um, but that's how we've done our flywheels for years. Four years we've done them like that. Never had an issue as far as chattering or anything like that. So um, got the flywheel done. We also uh, did another thing. We got our big tires. To me, that's a big tire, a 28105. Got that mounted up. Also got our windshield in that we ordered on sale. So, because we have a busted windshield. Got our bigs mounted. Uh, we also got a windshield deal in. Um, it was on sale. Too good, to, you know, price was too good to pass up. And uh, we'll talk about that later on. Um, but we also got some wire from work. We got some six, some eight, some 10. Um, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a one wire alternator. Um, I'd really like to do the mini one, but just fitting it in with the Vortec bracket, I just, I don't really wanna go through all the hustle and bustle and stuff to try and make one work within the confines of the bracketry and this other stuff. So we are probably going to use a one wire, uh, like re factory replacement style. Um, but it is a hundred amp, but you know, it's based off GM, you know, style, but it fits Ford. Uh, but it'll be a hundred amps. So we are getting that and we'll do one wire on it um, so we can get rid of some wiring stuff. So that's what we're doing, getting rid of a bunch of wiring, not just the wiring from the EFI harness, but overall wiring in the car, get some weight out of the car. We also, it's around here somewhere. We also got our brake pedal and uh, I just like knocking a stud out of it or grinding a stud out of it for the old pin. This is our new nut and bolt for our new relocated uh, for the uh, manual brakes. And I also trimmed up some stuff on here, things we don't need. So 
like the stops and things like that. We don't need the stops and stuff. We, we can figure all, we can just set our clutch pedal and be where it goes. So anyway, um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. Probably not gonna film. I'm just following along, you know, there's stuff online and stuff like that uh, of how to do this. And you know, whether it actually works or not, maybe it will, hopefully it will. Um, if it doesn't, well, that sucks. Um, we've also got some more fuel stuff coming, some extra line that we need and uh, a pump and stuff like that. So we're getting all that figured out. So I've got a direction that we wanna go. We're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on putting the clutch in it. Um, and I know that's, I, I typically like to do the one thing and then go to the track. Uh, but I don't know, I'm just getting too old for that stuff. Waiting, it's hot, man, whatever. I'm just, you know, I don't wanna say throw the kitchen sink at it, but I've got, a, I've got a vision, a goal of where I want the car to go, how I want it to look, what I want the combination to be. Uh, just, you know, I'm, I just got stuff that I want and I just want to get there and I want to race the car. I want to be able to enjoy it some more so than I am now. And uh, doing it one at a time is just, it's not going to get me there. Not, I, might, I might kick the bucket before we make it, but uh, just kidding. But um, anyway, that's what we're doing. We're doing this stuff. I'm even like, you know, using masking tape, I'm marking stuff. It's a new day, the dawn of a new era. So anyway, all right, well, uh, Teresa's on our way home. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next
hustle when I put the harness back in. I had to seat out and stuff. I put the, the shoulder belts on the wrong sides. Okay, see you guys after lunch. Holy smoke. A lot of times when me and Teresa go to lunch, the girls that she works with, some of the girls, they wanna, you know, they wanna order something. And uh, like a, a, there's a Jersey Mike's right here and a few Sackley's and then there's a Chipotle. I've never eaten a Chipotle. Don't eat, not really a fan of stuff like that. We just waited 20 minutes for an order that they called in at 1140. It is now uh, like 1205 or 1206. It was supposed to be ready at 1140. And the air conditioner wasn't working in Chipotle. You talk about a miserable experience. Man, the heck with that place. crap it's like 95 degrees what are you doing laying in the sun you're freaking black you're drawing in the light man you're getting the uvs dog makes no sense We got a box in the mail, a surprise box in the mail from Jason that had a Holly Blue pump. Well, I asked him, I said, hey, would it be cool if I exchange that for something that I will use like almost immediately? And he said, sure, do what you need to do. Um, he's that kind of guy. So we got an AEM pump that is an inline pump. We're gonna take, gosh, we're gonna take the tank out and everything. And I probably may have said that talking about this right here. Um, we got a lot going on. We got a lot of work that we wanna do. It's hot, man, going to the track socks. We still gotta do the clutch, but I trying to get a game plan together in my mind that's gonna make me happy. Cause that's really what it boils down to. No matter what your car is, as long as you're happy with it, doesn't matter how fast it is, it doesn't matter what it looks like, 
It doesn't matter how much power it makes on the dyno. None of that matters if you're happy with it. That's all that matters. If it makes you happy when you drive it, when you look at it, when you sit in it, when you hear it, when you think about it, if it makes you happy, that is all that matters. Well, that's all that matters to me. You know, I've had cars that did things this way or that way or other people really like that you know I wasn't into as much. And I've definitely owned some stuff that other people weren't into, but I didn't care because it's mine and I like it and it makes me happy. So that's what it all boils down to. So well, having said all that, since I'm a guy that just goes to test and tune, I don't race any classes, I don't street race, I just do it for the pure enjoyment of it. I don't have any like performance goals, I'm trying to run this number, or I'm trying to make this much horsepower, or I'm trying to enter this car show, or I'm trying to impress this person, or people, or whatever. No, I don't have any of those kind of things. I do it just for what makes me happy. When I get in the car, and I feel good about it, and I have, it just makes me feel a certain way. That's what I try to achieve. Um, when I look at the car, I feel a certain way. When I hear the car, I feel a certain way. When I drive the car, I feel a certain way. And sometimes that's not always clear cut of how to get there. So I like my cars to be way more racy than I guess a lot of people do. Um, so that's what I try to achieve. Um, and sometimes I don't know how to get there. He's laying on the floor right now. Wanting the other fan on, right? I don't know how to get there. And through a lot of trials and tribulations and money spent, you kind of figure out what you like or don't like, or what you really like or maybe don't, or whatever, da 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 So, I like my car's being more racy. Having said all of that, this pump is gonna put us in that direction of being more racy. Here's where the problem comes in. I'm not super happy, I'm not saying that this, you know, I'm just not super happy with the EFI. I, like carburetors I like carburetors there I like the simplicity I don't want to learn how to tune I've known David since 2008 and yes he has done all the chip car. I have no interest in tuning it's not because I'm lazy or technically because I'm that stupid I just don't have the desire it it doesn't interest me I don't own a laptop I've never owned a laptop Teresa has a laptop I mean, it's in the house somewhere. We never use it. And Lauren has a laptop, I think, pretty sure. For I don't know. I don't care about stuff like that. I don't want to. I know I can buy Mega Squirt or Micro Squirt or Holly or all these things, and I can learn all these things. I don't want to. That's not enjoyable to me. I just want it to be simple. I want it to have less wires, less stuff technically under the hood. I want it to still be kind of fast. I want it to still be kind of cool in my eyes. I just, and I want it to be cheap. I, I just, so I'm, I've been going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth about blow through. I mean, ah, it's so simple. And I've got, I'm not going to go out and buy a thousand dollar blow through carburetor. I've got a bunch of stuff laying around that, Technically speaking, I don't need a lot to actually be blow through. Um, all the fuel injection stuff that I've got, like the intake and things like that, the injectors, I can put in raw. I mean, that's the whole plan is that that engine, if I don't destroy it, is going to go in Rob Zombie at some point. And I'll, you know, have what I have in the silver car and Rob will get the leftovers. All that stuff will move into raw. I mean, just the way it sits now would be fine, probably. I just, I just don't know. I, I'm, I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, I'm, I'm influenced by stuff that I see online and stuff like this, and I don't know what is going to make me happy. So I don't know. I've got a good enough carburetor to where just with a few parts, I think it'll work. Because I'm not making. Listen, I'm not trying to make 1,500 horsepower. We all know that. You know, I'm making four or five hundred or whatever. So. The strain, the carburetor is not technically under as much duress as guys trying to make a thousand on E85 and stuff like that, where you need a lot more fuel system and the tuning is a lot different because you've got to have it jetted a lot differently and the drivability may be a little weird. I'm not trying to make crazy big power, so I don't know. I'm, you know, 
I'm looking at the I'm looking at the blow through stuff. So anyway, I know this video sucks, whatever. And a lot of me talking right there. If you made it this far, God bless you. Um, God bless Henry too. So I guess that's it. We got a pump. We're still working. I just don't know what we're gonna do. I think I'm actually gonna go out there and pull the O2 sensor out so I can order another one of them. You know, for the AFR gauge. So anyway. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the ways you guys support the channel. We couldn't do it without you. We wouldn't want to. But especially, thanks for watching. And until next time, on the Substandard Leader and Box Body Videos, one year only, Lincoln Twin Turbo Stick Shift Town Cars, four drag bands, which I need to get working back on that. I got actually got a part for it, uh, a fitting for it that I needed. Um, proud owner, proprietor, driver, caretaker, maybe blow through carburetor worker, owner of Club Big Boost. We did, you know, driving it today was fun, you know, taking it to eat with Therese and stuff like that. It sounds like the bullet movie, going through the gears, but it sped up like that. It's kind of funny. Uh, that's why I left it like that to put any music in. Um, and as always, fight the good fight against them zombie Mustangs, and that rascal Dr. Fear, we'll see you guys in the next video, probably talking about how we're going to stay EFI. I, I honestly don't know. I'm freaking crazy. Also, I need to order a uh, one-wire alternator for our wiring swap deal. So I might order, you may not be able to see it, but I've got one of the little ones right there. They're 70 amp, and the one I had on the LTD has worked flawlessly, so I don't know. Probably gonna order one just because the other, the other, these are heavier and whatever. I'm, I'm just an idiot, so sorry. We also painted the front end of the car, uh, the silver. And yes, it looks like crap, but I like it. So anyway, see you guys later.